I'm Danielle Achiampong, and I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator at USC Fisher Museum of Art, your very own campus museum. We're always free, and you should come visit us. Right now on exhibition, we have Triumph of Philippine Art from the George Seagal Gallery of Montclair State University. It features 17 artists who were picked because of the merit and the distinctly Filipino aspects of their artwork. And their work covers basically the past 41 years of Philippine history from the martial law period through the people power independence movement and into the present. It explores social and political issues and the idea of a nation that's grappling with finding its own distinct identity. This piece is really interesting. It's by Melda Indaya, and it's called Mother, This Freedom is Yours Too. And one of the things that makes it really um, an example of distinctly Filipino art is the artist's use of local materials in order to create this painting. So it actually gives it three-dimensional qualities because she used scarves, she used makings of a hut and things like that as part of the painting. This piece is called Rigodon. It's by Leo Abaya. Basically, it's an interactive chess that you can walk on um, that has, instead of pieces, images of Filipino politicians, dictators, and presidents. So you can kind of imagine that they're playing the big game of politics. And it's interesting because neither side is necessarily full of good guys or bad guys. It's very ambiguous, and it's, you can walk on it, which is always fun. Also on display right now, we're showcasing one of our own USC Roski professors in Richard Parker Poetic Illusions, which features charcoal, chalk, and pastel drawings in four series that he's done, the landscape series, hardware, collages, and pastel sticks. And it's really detailed, really interesting, and um, really contemplative kind of stuff. Richard Parker's hardware series kind of challenges us to look around and notice things that we don't necessarily notice as beautiful or as artistic, like an electrical outlet. He puts them on a grand scale and he shows us all of the detailed shadows and everything that sort of makes these suddenly in this scale and in this size become artistic and really beautiful. 